How are we doing, folks? This is The Gooch, again with another app review for you. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. I know you don't like the whole bunch of crap at the beginning, so uh, let's just get right into it. Okay, so here's my iPhone. I'm going to do a app called Photosynth. It is an app put out by Microsoft, actually, believe it or not. And it actually is one hell of an awesome app. Uh, it is a panoramic photo app. Uh, if I actually go here to show you some of the photos I've already done. Um, I did one of these the other day. That I think is pretty sweet. Uh, let's see here. This one right here uh, is a really neat. I mean, it's a, basically it's a, it, it creates panoramic images. And it stitches them together very, very easily and very well. I mean, it's a very well done app. Um, if I go back to a different one, I mean, you can see, depending on where you, you know, this one right here is another 360. Uh, I've also done a lot of um, non-360 ones, like here's one of my one of my job sites. You can see that it, it just kind of goes from end to end here. Uh, you don't have to do 360. When you actually are done using it, you can share it on Facebook um, or actually, you have to. You can create a photosynth account using your Hotmail or uh, your Windows Live ID. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how this works. But this for for a photo stitching app for a, a panoramic photo app, this is quite a fantastic app. And the way that you, um, I mean, some of the settings, you you can log in your Windows Live and your Facebook account if you wish. Um, exposure. Um, sound you know very simple settings there's not a whole lot of real depth settings in here that you really have to worry about it's just a very simple app tap to start and then you start and i'm going to go ahead and go outside and i'll show you how to, how to use it okay okay so here we are in the app i turned the exposure settings up in the camera so that's why it looks like white like hell in the background but that way you can actually see the screen of the phone um sorry for the glare that you can actually see the camera too Apologize for that. I'll try to minimize that. But um, so basically, all you do is so I'm going to start over here in my backyard here and hit start and kind of aim down a little bit, and then it'll take a picture. And then you can see there's a green dot in the middle of the screen. So you can see there's a dotted line too. So as soon as I get that green dot outside of that dotted line, within a certain distance from it, it'll actually take another photo automatically. So and then same with the right side. You can see the dotted lines where the previous photo was taken. And it'll just keep doing it as you move. And of course, you can just get a pano photo real quick. Now, if you actually go too fast and you go outside of a set line, that green dot, I think, will actually change color, but you won't allow you to take a photo. So, if we, yep, see, it'll turn red. So, I gotta come back, come back until it turns green. There we go. And then, you know, of course, then, oh, um, you know what? I wanna go down a little bit further over here. And you can just keep doing it. Same with going up higher. You know, and then when you're done, actually, and you know, of course, the more you screw around, you can actually get off. When you're done, all you do is tap done here, or finish. It'll start stitching. And while it's stitching, you can actually edit the properties, call it whatever you want. You know, I'm going to call it uh, test. Oh, well, whatever. There we go done now the name is kind of changed this you can link it to a business if you wish while it's doing it's done stitching so hit done or hit, I'm done editing that 50% complete it takes uh, depending on how big it is it can take uh, a minute or two to, to stitch the usually the end goes quite a bit faster the rendering of the actual photo um, and then there we go we're done now I can actually look and you can see that one image that was off a little bit it's kind of great so you can see your end product before you actually finalize it but typically I mean this is actually the first photo I actually had there but that could be because I moved when I was doing it I wasn't really paying attention but there you go I mean it's pretty cool a high here it can do now if you Obviously, what I did is I started over here, went over here, then went down, then went up, and then went down, then I went back up, and of course, it, in that I could have moved a couple feet when I did it, and then of course it, it may not be exactly accurate when I was going all over the place. That's why that one photo is off right there. So that's my own damn fault. But 
you can see that it's it's really neat and the I mean the clarity of it is really nice it's it's quite beautiful how, how well it stitches together um, other photo apps that I have similar to this well I'll show you this right now uh, I have another app that's called 360 panel it uses the video camera um, and to be honest you know a strike capture it slowly captures as you move using the video this one is it, it's kind of cool to use but it's a lot harder to get a nice accurately stitched photo as you can always see already see there's two buildings in the background right there um, which is wrong <laughs> uh, so you know looking at this like those sheds are, are actually not on different levels you know, this one is not near as accurate, whereas um, panel synth, I mean, or photo synth, this is just one heck of an app. And I can just show you uh, photo after photo. Oh, like that's the one I just did. It saves here. Um, and like the first one I did of my living room, even, which was just me sitting in the seat and just tinkering with it real quick, did quite, quite a little. Photo. It's it's quite the app, it really is. So as you as you saw outside, it's quite it is quite a fantastic app. And you know, like I said, some of these like uh, this one of Bellevue State Park, this overlook, beautiful of the Mississippi River. Uh, this let's see, this one right here is actually my favorite overlook. Overlooks the Mississippi and this town of Bellevue. It's quite fantastic. Um, but I mean the big thing is so it's a really fantastic app it, it works really good um, not only does it stitch very well it, it's very accurate the best part however you go to the app store it's actually free it's a free app to use as you can see on the app store 1800 ratings and it's five stars and it really you know as painful as you know Microsoft is who it is and I'm obviously I'm a big Windows user and everything but when it comes to a lot of their apps, they're not the best in the world. This one hits it right on the head. They did a fantastic job with this. Not available on Android, which I was actually... I was actually surprised that it was available on the iPhone, to tell you the truth. Um, but uh, I guess Google's a common enemy between Apple and Microsoft. So, with that said, if you have an iPhone, you should not be without the Photosynth app. It is a fantastic app. It's a... Uh, and... It's free, so why wouldn't you purchase it, right? So, with that said, that is the app review. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, I'm, I know I've only got a few videos in here now, and I'm going to keep adding them as I go. Um, and eventually, I do have some bad apps I'm going to be getting to. I just, you know, when you, when you have a good app, you really want to tell the world about it, and uh, this is one of those. And it's a free app, so nobody should be without this app, to be honest. It's a fantastic app. Um, of course, I guess if your iPhone doesn't have a camera or your iPod doesn't have a camera in it, it's uh, not useful. But for those of us that do have one, especially the iPhone 4 with the fantastic camera it has, you should not be without this app. So that's that's my say on it. Uh Again, please comment, subscribe, let me know uh, what you want for future apps. Go to my channel page and post on there, or send me a direct message. Um, I will definitely try to get to some of the uh, reviews. Uh, if you actually do have a good review and you want me to try it out, if you're the dev of an app, please, if you want to, if you want to send me a, a code for the app, I will be, uh, by all means, I, I would definitely do it. So, um, with that said, I appreciate you watching, and this is the Gooch saying... Thanks for watching again. See ya.